What is up you guys, it's Thomas here, and today we're gonna to be completely changing the aesthetic of your home screen on iOS 14 from good to ugly. Let's get started. So when Apple released iOS 14 to the public, they released a new way to customize your home screen. You can now actually customize your app icons using the Shortcuts app, essentially enabling theming on stock iOS. And this of course really blew up on YouTube, but Looking at some of the YouTube posts, there are all these similar aesthetic uh, iOS 14 themes. So I wanted to do something different. So I actually designed using equivalent tools to MS Paint, can't use MS Paint because I have a Mac, uh, a complete icon pack for iOS 14. And today we're gonna be setting it up on my phone and showing it off to you guys. And before I actually start uh, showing off how to set the icons on your phone, I just wanna say quickly, if you're new to my channel, then be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload awesome new Apple-related content. Anyways, let's go to my phone now. Okay, so to set up your home screen icons, it's pretty easy, but there's a few steps, and if you don't know, we're gonna take you through it right now. So the first step is to actually download the icons or make them on your phone and get them to your photo library. So for this pack, I have everything uploaded in Google Drive, the link is in the description, and you'll just want to download it. Click download, go to your downloads, and you'll see MS Paint theme and it's a zip file. Click on it, it should open in your downloads folder in files. You can just tap on that and it will unzip right here. And here you have icons and wallpapers. So I actually made two Windows themed wallpapers and 39 different icons. So let's take a look right here. Here are all the icons. And as you can see, they're really uh, MS Paint style. So what we wanna do is download all these into our photos. So you're gonna click on one of them, click the share button, save the image, go to the next, the share button, save the image, and so on for all of these. And then once you're done with that, uh, you can actually start to set them on your icons. So what we're gonna do for this is now that we have all of our icons saved right here in photos, this should be in my recents, they're all right here. Now I'm going to actually assign these icons to my apps. So to do that, we're gonna be using the Shortcuts app and you should already have this pre-installed on your iPhone. So essentially you're gonna open up Shortcuts, click the plus button in the top right corner, hit Add Action, and you're gonna hit Scripting, Open App, and you'll see Scripting, Open, Choose. Now you're gonna tap Choose, and you're gonna select the first app. So I'm just gonna use App Store because I'm gonna do it in alphabetical order. Hit Next and you'll see a new shortcut. Don't worry about this icon, that's not actually your app icon. And your shortcut name is gonna be whatever the app name is. So App Store, hit done. And here we have App Store, one item. And as you can see, when I tap on it, it just opens up the App Store. But we wanna add this to our home screen. So we're gonna tap these three dots, hit these three dots and hit app to add to home screen. Now you'll see home screen name and icon. Tap this icon, tap choose photo, and now you're gonna look for your app store icon from the icon pack. Here it is. Tap on it. You can crop it however you want. Hit choose, hit add, hit done, hit done, and now you should see app store on your home screen. And you're gonna essentially do this with all of your app icons. So I'll be right back when I'm done with that. Okay, so once you've finished adding all of your new uh, app shortcuts, that's great and all. On your home screen, you should have all of them here. But you also have duplicates, you have the originals. So how do we remove those? So to remove these, we're just gonna want to hold down on one of them, hit edit home screen. And you're gonna hit this little minus button and you're gonna click Move to App Library. It's important you do not click Delete App because that will actually completely delete the app from your phone and your shortcut will cease to work. So you're gonna to wanna to do that for all of your apps. 
and it just takes a couple minutes. If you have an app you can't delete like camera, you just click remove from home screen. Okay, so once you've set all of your new icons, you can easily just rearrange them, which I'll do in a moment. And then we'll get onto the wallpapers. Okay, so once you have your app icons arranged, uh, just exactly how you like them, so you can see I have them right here arranged, um, you can now go on to setting your wallpaper. So I actually created two wallpapers for this theme and they're both in the file you downloaded in a folder called Wallpapers. Uh, the first wallpaper is a parody over the famous Windows uh, wallpaper of the Green Hill. And the second uh, famous wallpaper parody is a parody of the famous Windows 7 wallpaper. So personally, I think that the Green Hill wallpaper looks a little bit better, uh, especially with these icons. So you're just gonna save the image and then in your photos uh, library, you should just be able to open it, hit the share button, um, use it as your wallpaper, click set and set both. And now, as you can see, I have my wallpaper set just like that. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to smash the like button and let me know in the comments if you're gonna be using this icon theme on your iPhone. I hope you have a great day and see you later. Bye.